Hello, welcome to A-Level Biology. My name is Amy Titherley. I'm Head of Science here at Ralph Allen School. I'm also Head of Biology. Welcome. What a fantastic subject to have chosen to come and find some information about. Hopefully I can answer lots of your questions in this short presentation. If I can't on the first slide, I will project my email address. So please feel free to drop me a quick email with any questions that I perhaps haven't answered at all today. OK, so biology, welcome. My email address is at the bottom of that first slide, as you can see. So this is me. Uh, we've got a fantastic biology team here at Ralph Allen, really proud of the team. Um, so lots of different biology teachers that teach biology A level. Um, to start with, I just thought it would be worth thinking, where does biology take you? Lots of exciting opportunities. I popped a few on the presentation here, ranging from zoologists, sports scientists, animal technician, dentist, veterinary nurse, nurse, teacher, doctor, the list is absolutely endless. However, you don't have to have one of these career options in your mind already. It might be something that you just think biology, fantastic, really interesting. I'm going to go for it and see where it can take us. So a little bit more about the course. Here is an overview of all the different modules. You can see that there are six different modules and we follow the OCR exam board here. Um, the first module is a practical skills module in biology, which I will say a little bit more about in the later bit of the presentation. Um, and you can see hopefully that lots of the topics that we'll be covering um, at A-level biology are continuations of the topics that we study at GCSE, plus a few more. So for example, on the left hand side, we've got a simple animal cell. In the middle, we've got a nerve cell and on the right hand side, the equation for respiration. At biology A level, we can see the jump and it's absolutely amazing. It amazes me every time I teach it and talk it through with students. So the animal cell becomes this much more complex cell at the bottom with so many more different structures. The nerve cell and the movement of the nervous impulse down the axon, the long structure of the cell, becomes again much more complicated but really interesting and insight into how the signal is actually moving through that body. And respiration is quite a heavy biochemistry topic, so biology works really nicely if you're thinking about taking A-level chemistry as well, although it isn't necessarily a prerequisite for the course. In terms of assessments, all of the biology A-level is assessed at the end. There are three exams at the end of the two year course. And you can see on the right hand side how those exams are split up. So 37, 37% and 26%. Around 10% of the course includes some type of mathematical element. So that might be a calculation, uh, interpreting graphs, for example, or some other type of manipulating numbers and lots of questions which involve learning lots of the interesting content, applying those questions or applying the content that we have learned throughout the course to practical based questions. In terms of practical work, there are 12 core practicals in A-level biology that students will complete throughout the course, hopefully with some additional practicals as well. During these practicals, and I've listed a few which are on the board uh, as you can see, the biology teachers will assess students against a series of core competencies that are set for us by the exam board. Now these core competencies, um, students usually meet all of those competencies and don't have much trouble meeting them and students are awarded a grade at the end of A-level biology, but they are also awarded whether they have the practical endorsement or not. Now, most students, as I just said, do meet the practical endorsement across all of the different practicals throughout those two years. And students will see on their certificates at the end of the two years a grade, for example, grade A star, and they will see whether they have or they have not achieved the practical endorsement. So the practical work that we actually do in lessons is assessed differently and separately to the work that is assessed in the exams at the end and contributes towards the student's grade. 
although the practical work could be assessed in the exams in terms of some questions about the practicals. In terms of our results, we are really proud of our students here at Ralph Allen. Our results are fantastic, described as outstanding. We have consistently been in the top 10% across the whole country for bi biology A-level across the last four years. So really proud of all the hard work that our students put in. In terms of entry requirements, we require students to achieve a grade six so that's a grade six in biology plus a grade six in physics or chemistry as students are doing separate sciences. If students are studying combined science or the double science, we would expect students to have two grade sixes. So those two grades coming across all the sciences that they study in combined science. We also require students to have at least a grade five in maths. As I mentioned earlier, students will be assessed in some elements um, of their mathematical skills, manipulating numbers, reading graphs, doing calculations, etc. in their biology A-level exams. And a grade five in English, so English literature or English language, to help students to ensure that they can meet the skills in terms of wording their answers, particularly the longer answer questions that do come up in biology assessments. So a couple of things just to end from me before uh, we end today. Um, extracurricular opportunities. We try and encourage students to get as involved in uh, as involved as possible in extracurricular opportunities. So I've just listed a couple over the last couple of years that we have managed to put on for students. So these co are completely varied and depends on which opportunities are available each year. So, for example, at the top, we have talks from scientists who use biology. On the left, he works for the uh, Welsh Rugby Union um, and also went on one of the British and Irish Lions tours. So he uses a lot of science in his job. Uh, so that was really interesting to have him uh, come to talk to us. Ranging from at the bottom, the MedSoc lecture programme, which runs each year. And that is a link that we have with Prior Park College. So some students choose to go there. It's an after school session and learn a little bit more about biology and biology related careers uh, with some other students from a school which is just down the road from us. Uh, so last thing for me, what do our students say? Um, I could talk about biology uh, all day, all night, all evening, depending on when you're listening. Uh, I think it's fab, so interesting. We have a great team and students love it here at Ralph Allen. Um, so what do our students say? So I'm just going to leave you to read a little bit about um, some comments from our students and what they have said about biology so far. So thank you for listening. We look forward to welcoming you to Biology A-Level at Ralph Allen and please do get in contact if you have any questions at all.